Hi guys, it's EGC here. So today I'm here with another uh, decent deck profile, and this time I will be covering uh, the faded one of the zero, uh, Black Mire. Uh, so this is another new right line, another faded one that we get uh, from DC BT02. Uh, by the time you see this video, I probably will already be uh, in Japan for a while. So. Uh, Hopefully it's something that during my trip so uh, No, knowing that I am kind of away so uh, some of the videos might not Like come out that frequently during those weeks uh, But just a quick note about that. So back to the deck This deck uh, At first I was very exciting to play it because of the Divine skill being uh, a kind of a skill wipe again or like kind of making your opponents hard to play kind of thing because with uh, Dark Irregulars generally or like basically Dark States generally is always very good at turning your opponents into one uh, with one power, uh, grade to one uh, block the skills all kind of thing and this guy is basically kind of trying to do this but he gets a lot of things that I think people will need to be careful about but let's talk about his skill is first when it's in the attacks of vanguard you can bind two or more out to four cards from soul face down and you may draw a card so as long as you bind two cards three cards or four cards you get to draw a card and if you bind four or more cards your opponent will choose two of the regards and bind them face down so you get to uh, kind of controlling the field while getting the draw and this unit will get plus 5k power in the end of the battle for each two face down cards in your bind zone so if you bind 4 it's basically less 10k if the next turn you bind another 4 because there's 8 at least just by this skill for 2 times you will get plus 20k and just keep adding on and there are more cards that can uh, bind cards face down so you might actually get more power uh, rather than just using his own skill so uh, it's a very very strong skill because you get a very high power attack and you get to do some war control and you get to draw from it um, but you need to stock up your souls which is a very important thing you need to do in, uh, in this deck and then the divine skill at the beginning of the card step of the battle this unit attacks if your barring zone has 8 or more face down cards you may have this unit to get plus 1 crit if you gain the crit then your opponent cannot call or play sentinel from hand until another turn and that includes play order because it includes play um, and then choose one of your opponent's vanguards and until end of your opponent's next turn all of your opponents and that unit's abilities are notified. Personal right will be activated. So what will be white? Basically all the tags written on your vanguard. Train drive because it, it's a skill. It's not just an icon, it's a skill. Uh, so you will your opponent will only be doing one single drive after you've wiped. Like notify the skill. Uh, for example Reso uh, define skill that can heal a damage group be notified for the turn until they end their turn. Uh, another example would be the, for example, the Dark States OT. That's another thing uh, that I am using in the deck, but uh, because this gives you a skill and that skill is notified for until the end of their turn, so they won't be getting the extra 10k and crit from there uh, and there's a lot of different things but do make sure you check your QA um, to see what's available what is not um, yeah and then if you write another unit on top then of course you can get your person right and then uh, because the notify part is only on that unit and yourself so when you write a new unit those unit will not get affected uh, so 
the easiest way to oh, like avoid being annoying is to ride in your car basically uh, but sometimes it's not that easy that's why this deck uh, actually get to see a lot more plays from the tournament scene and the rest of the right line is basically his own right line so when you go from 0 to 1 you uh, nothing happens when you go from 1 to 2 you will uh, soul charge uh, you will reveal top 3 cards of the deck and then uh, put all the great run harder into your soul and that includes order and then the rest to the bottom of the deck if you have put 2 cards into your soul or more you get to draw one so uh, if they are not two trigger units you get, you get a draw and then uh, when you go to three to, uh, two to three is basically the same but um, instead of going to the bottom of your deck this time you actually shuffle your deck so yeah that's basically it so the right line itself helps you soul charge a lot of cards to or, or at least give you a big chance to soul charge a lot of cards which is a good thing because you do want to uh, go very fast with this deck uh, the pacing of this deck is basically when you go to 3, you swing, bind 4, next turn, bind 4, define scale, hopefully win there, if not, bind 4 again, that's it. That's probably most people's game plan, unless they really need to uh, go for a long game, then you need to be very careful when you should use your define skill. But uh, the easiest way to play this deck is probably just... First turn, bind four. Second turn, bind four. Define skill, and see what what else, right? But of course, if your opponent is only like on two damage, then you probably won't be uh, using the define skill because even though you gain a crit, unless you get a double crit, it's not going to get you anywhere. So uh, do it at least when your opponent is on three damage, so that when you gain a crit, what you need is just another crit. But of course, if they are at 4, then it's even better. Because they can't simply PG you, so the Vanguard attacks, they need to uh, pay a lot to actually guide 4. And usually, that is kind of like uh, the Great 4 lure, that limiting cards while doing uh, 4 drives. That game is scary, right? So, yeah, that's basically uh, this kind of the same level, but he can get it done very, very fast. And that's why uh, people actually choose to go for this deck, especially in a team tournament. Now going to the main deck, of course three more personal rights. Uh, we need the souls, we need the power. The more power we get, the harder your opponents to guard with. So yeah, there's nothing too much to say about that. And then uh, four of the Colossus. Uh, so what the Colossus does is when it attacks a vanguard, if you bind some four more cards, you may have this card to get plus 10k. If you do, at the end of the time, put this into your soul. So, uh, this is a way to help you gain souls. And when this card is put into soul by your card ability, so one of them will be uh, his own skill. The other thing is like other cards that just say soul charge one, right? Or uh, select a card from the drop zone and then you see the discard and then put it in your soul. Those counts. And if that happens and you have a Grey Free or Higher Vanguard with a Black Mar in this card name, you can bind his face down and draw a card. So um, this is a, definitely another way to increase your face down binding cards uh, for your Vanguard to actually gain more power. But you don't always have to do it because sometimes you do want to keep enough number of cards in your soul to uh, basically do the bind for because if you don't bind for you don't get the power you don't get the uh, board control so yeah not always uh, you need to use that skill but sometimes if you really need an extra draw then you can just do it right and then next I'm running uh, three of the cage of fury stars so this basically is a soul charge one and then you can choose a great free or less card from the soul quarter regard circle and also get it plus 5k. So uh, because you will soul charge a lot, especially when you are using your right line. So if you are playing the deck 
which in a previous version of mine you just simply recklessly soul charging then you will lose a lot of pieces but then if you are using this card even when you are kind of recklessly soul charging you still have a chance to pull those units out and units like the Colossus which after plus 10k will go back into the soul as long as you don't bind it face down away you still have a chance to actually use it with the order so and this plus 5k which brings himself to a simple 28k with both skills on so uh, to me I think it's a very good card uh, unfortunately it's a great free order so you can't do any early rush with it but uh, your real battle actually begins when you start your great free so I think it's still kind of okay and next is for the Samuk uh, so this is a very interesting card and it's a card that helps you uh, fill the souls when this is, unit is placed on radar circle if you agree for your higher rank with black mine in this card name uh, plus one if you top three cards of the deck put any number of cards into the soul from among them shuffle the deck if you put one or more cards uh, into the soul you may draw a card so Basically, you look free as long as you're willing to put one, you get a draw, which is very, very nice, right? Uh, and you get a shuffle your deck, so sometimes you put something to the bottom of the deck by whatever reason, you get a shuffle. It. And then, when this unit attacks, if you have a uh, great view higher vanguard with Black Mar in this card name, and uh, this unit's critical is one less, so if you don't by all means give it any kind of plus one crit you can energy plus three this unit will get plus 5k and one crit until end of the battle so uh, it's a simple 15k to crit as long as you're willing to pay free energy and uh, again make sure you don't give it the crit else you won't be able to uh, use this skill so the crit can go to some other units now uh, for a lot of beginners of this deck, they probably will think this skill is very very strong that they will spam it. But uh, I would say you'd rather be a little bit more cautious in using this skill because if you give your opponents too much damage, uh, if you are chasing them to the point where you are going to finish them with defined skill, I think it's fine. But uh, if you are pushing your opponents too hard while they have a lot of cards in their hand then they will in return basically blocking all your heals so uh, do be careful on the moment to use this and you don't need to spam it you can just do it one damage one damage one damage to uh, like keep baiting your opponents on the guards because if you give them two damage and they're willing to take it then uh, it's not something that great sometimes so to be careful but then uh, we do have cards that uh, can reuse this so if you have six energy you can just like kind of do two attacks with uh, plus one crit which is also very very scary and then uh, four of the right support because we don't use too much energy except from this so we uh, have the luxury to use this one uh, I do see people using the older ride cards as well, but I don't have that card anymore, so I'm just using this, uh, which is kind of okay still, but if you have that, you can definitely uh, put that in. And then uh, I put two of the Crimson Expella uh, for a little bit extra soul charging, and sometimes when I need, I can get the power from this to make my Vanguard stronger. Uh, but if you do have the promo made, you can definitely put that in. Uh, that's where probably what I will change. I probably will put another copy into into the main if I have any. Uh, for now, I don't because I'm still waiting for uh, the festival collection. Through there, there's reprint, so I would rather just uh, since I will be like opening a case with a friend, so I kind of get guarantee getting those cards so I rather not spending money on something that I will get eventually right now so I'm using some kind of uh, replacement which is having a different function but still helping the deck right 
So, but if you do have the mate, you can just cut one of these, change two of these into at least three mates. Uh, then it will be like kind of functioning a lot better because the mate herself uh, will help you put cards from your drop zone into the souls of few of your souls so you don't need to uh, blind soul charge from your deck and then she get power through soul charging so uh, she at least help you hit a lot of different numbers they don't have to be key numbers but as long as like she can hit so I think that's all that matters okay and then another very key card of deck uh, steam artist or a wimp so it gets a real skill one of them is when it's in a place on Mega circle so charge one if you agree with a higher rank of black mar and his card name look the top two cards of your deck instead of just simply so charge one and then uh, choose up to two cards among them put them in the soul and if you did not pull put two cards shuffle your deck so uh, once you get to your grave freeze it's not a simple so charge one you get to look at top two you can choose zero two if you need to because you, you see both of them are triggers and you can just shuffle them back right uh, but you see a normal unit then you can just put it in and then uh, a back row auto skill at the end of the turn if the critical of your vanguard with Lagmar in his card name was increased by the divine skill this turn you can retire this unit you get to draw a card from it and uh, if your other unit with the same card name and this unit was not retired this turn so basically just pop one time hard once per turn uh, at the and then your opponents will get at the beginning of their right phase they might discard a card from hand if they do not they cannot ride or stride until end of turn and this skill will last until end of your opponent's next turn so uh, basically you use the divine skill you uh, destroy a R wind and then when you pass to your opponent's turn during the right phase if they have not discarded a single card for, uh, as a like a tax that you've given to them they cannot do normal ride they cannot do superior ride they can't do stride uh, this happens during one of the team match that I uh, showed it in the Bushiro Card Fest Hong Kong that the ever player actually didn't discard a card and think that he can just simply use the promo monster skill put in the soul and disappear right into the new ever then that's not the case because this skill tells you you cannot ride it didn't say you cannot normal ride so uh, I think like in the past like very very old times a ride will probably just kind of explaining just a normal ride but now we are very clear that if it is normal ride it is a normal ride if it is a ride from a skill it is a ride from a skill if it didn't mention those stuff and just a ride then it includes both I mean uh, that's also like in early testing when I have with a friend when uh, he is playing uh, Seraph that's what I stop him to because it just a ride so you can't you cannot do it which is a very very strong skill because uh, you are making your opponents discard a card first and then go into uh, maybe the person right that they don't actually gain a card they lose a card so yeah I can see this card being very, very strong uh, even though it's only a basically once per game thing because you only will be able to use a different skill once per game so that's basically it but uh, if this pull off that can be very very uh, scary to deal with now next is uh, four of the evoke alchemist so this is a card that you always want to put behind your vanguard um, during the battle it spoos if you have a uh, great view of higher vanguard with black marius card name it will get us 5k uh, which is basically applied to any columns you put it in and then when it's going to boost a great view of higher Vanguard with Blackmar in his card name. This unit will get past 2k on the end of battle. And your buying zone has four more cards face down. You can count last one, choose one of the front of regards and stand it. And if you have eight or more face down cards, 
that unit not only stands, it will get plus 15k until end of turn. So, for example, this will be a very good target. Uh, this may be a good target, depending on how you set up your field. The mate is also a very good target if you're running the mate, because uh, you will just get a lot more from them. But in this build, usually I'm just going to restand him so that I can just do a 2 crit attack for more times and including the divine square and basically having 3 of the 2 crit attack that your opponents will need to uh, like spend a lot of resources to at least guard all of them and if they let any of those goals in probably just end the game probably uh, also this at least can turn all your AKs when you can't hit, you don't have person right. You can just simply use this to boost your Vanguard and Kyle Boss and get that unit plus 15k so that they can hit it. Which I think, compared to uh, some situations where you your units cannot hit, at least you have a chance to turn them into something that can hit, which is helpful. And then uh, I'm running. Uh, four of the Star Slave. Uh, so this is also a new card from the set. Star Slave Demo Lady by France. But if you have the mate, then you can cut one, two, three, and one of these into an, uh, four of the mates. That's probably uh, what I would consider a finished deck build. If you want to kind of turn it into something else. Uh, it's small changes, but then the difference will be big. But uh, if I actually get enough mates, then I will just do another fight video for you guys to see, or you can actually see how it works from all my uh, Bushiro Card Fest Hong Kong videos. I do have a few uh, Black Mar decks came out, so you can actually see how that works. So back to uh, Bifronts. So uh, we only use the first skill. Which is my next unit is placed on Mega Circle from hand, cost card plus one. Then the top three cards of the deck, choose one card from among them, add to your hand, choose one card among them, put in your soul, and then discard the remaining card. So uh, it fills up the soul, it picks up the key parts probably that you need, and then it fills up is, uh, the drop zone. Even though fill up drop zone doesn't mean a lot to you, uh, it's more for like unit card that you can just drop the uh, mask into the drop zone. Put the crit into your soul and then just put the pressure right into your hand right uh, but this at least allows you to find to find good parts and put it into your soul and sometimes you are just missing some cards and you don't want to blind soul charge that is a good choice uh, the se second skill i'm not going to cover it because it's, we are not running any uh and register vanguard so you don't need to care about that skill in this deck profile and then uh, ending with 4 PGs, if you want to use the place order, you can do it, uh, up to you. I just want to keep it simple, so I'm just using this. Triggers. Now, uh, because we always want to gain crit, so I think in here, the Dark Slaves one is actually doing a good job. Um, because once you pull it off, and especially when you can pull it off before you activate your Divine skill, this can change a lot of things, right? Uh, when you're using a defense skill and also with this on, that's basically a free crit, high power uh, turn. And especially when you're using a defense skill, your opponent cannot uh, put out any sort of sentinels except uh, the Fader One of Time. That's the only thing that can probably dodge it for now in standard. Else, when your opponents give you a lot of cards to guard and you suddenly just pull out a OT that, place, that will probably just end the game right there so um, and the crit will just keep applying for the future so I think this is kind of better than the water elemental one and because you will be <coughs> uh, soul charging quite a lot and the kind of soul blast you're doing are actually binding your cards so you don't actually have a lot of chances to 
pick up what you need, right? And that's not going to help too much. So uh, I think this is still a better choice. And then since I will be binding a lot of cards, uh, I'm just using basic crits, eight crits right there. Uh, three of the tanky heal because a uh, tanky draws, not heal, tanky tanky draws, because this is better defense. And then I just use one normal heals, but uh, some people are actually putting those uh, prevent uh, extra crit unit heal, those event heals. If you want to, you can just put like one to two in there. Uh, will come in handy. I just go with something simple, but if you want to. Uh, make it able to fight different situations then you can consider that yeah so yeah that's basically the deck list and game plan very simple as i said go to break free find four attack next turn find four define skill hopefully done if not another turn find four if you don't win there you probably will deck out right uh, and that's why the mate is actually come in handy because you are not blind soul charging that much for attack and that can be helpful right so uh, give this deck a try if you want to is definitely not a uh, like extremely exciting uh, interesting deck to play with because the game plan is so simple uh, you do have some little changes but the game plan is basically the same uh, Compared to other deck types that you do have other routes to go, this deck doesn't allow you to do that that much. Because if you don't go fast, you will deck out. Even the right line is basically soul charging, aiming to soul charging two cards per turn. So, yeah, you can definitely see. And if you don't keep up with the soul charging, you don't have enough uh, resources to just bind for. And that can ruin the game plan so everything go very fast which is strong because you do have uh, some board control you have draws you have high power uh, and again this will end game very quick but of course there are uh, decks that can actually mix it to fight a little bit longer but still <laughs> It's still a very fast deck and uh, I play a few times I know how it does and I think I'm good <laughs> but for some people it might actually fit them because the game plan is so simple and uh, you just need to focus on what you need to do and then you see what you can guard with and as long as you train your guard skill very well with this deck I think you will be very fine uh, with this current version or the one with the mate so give both a try and feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below subscribe for more deck profiles deck fights unboxing videos and i will see you guys in the next video signing off